Hello, today I am going to share with you how to perform basic parameter setup in Danforce VFD. Alright, there are a few things that I'm going to share with you. The first thing is uh, in initialization. The second thing is uh, motor data. And the third thing is uh, reference limit. Fourth thing is the uh, ramp out, ramp down. The fifth thing is a digital input output and the analog input output. Okay, first thing first for the VFD, this is a VFD LCP, local control panel, where all the parameter configuration can be done through this LCP. Sometimes people call it HIM, human interface machine. Okay, to do the initialization, what we need to do is, let's say the VFD is still on, okay? This is a status button that show you all the status. Let's say the VFD is still on. You can see from the LED light or the auto on. So what you need to do is you press the off button <coughs> to turn off the VFD. Make sure the VFD is off before you do any parameter setup. All right. Here you can see the frequency is running down. If you press the status button again, you can see different display all right then what you need to do is then you go to press the main menu if you let's say you do not see any home menu page what you need to do is you press the main menu button one more time until you can see the main menu page right so <clears throat> then you press this down arrow key until you see special function okay special function then you press the ok button then you press the down arrow key until you select reset function then you press ok button then you use the down arrow key okay press the down arrow key until you see operation mode then you press ok to select this sub menu then you press down or up arrow key until you see initialization then you press ok after that what you need to do is you have to turn off the power supply to the vfd and wait for maybe around 5 to 10 seconds then you turn on the power supply to the vfd and then the setting inside the vfd will be reset to factory default setting okay Let's say you have completed doing the initialization. Then we go to key in all the moto data based on the moto nameplate. Now what you need to do is you press the main menu. Before do that, doing that, make sure the off button is selected to ensure the VFD is not running. You press the main menu button. Let's say you do not see the home page, main menu home page. You press this main menu button one more time until you can see the main menu home page. Okay, then you press the down arrow key to select load and motor. Then you press OK button. After that, you press the down arrow key to select the motor data. Then you press OK button. The first thing to configure is the motor power. This is the motor power, 5.5 kilowatt. So what you need to do, you press OK button. Then you press left or right arrow key to change some the value okay this one change to five then press a left arrow key again then increase until change to 5.50 kilowatt this one 5.5 kilowatt after done you press the ok button then you press the down arrow key to go to next menu now this is a motor voltage for me because my country incoming power supply using 50 hertz so i refer to 50 hertz column okay it can be this voltage it can be this voltage again depends on your incoming three phase ac voltage for example in my country our three phase incoming voltage is 415 volt so i will change this one by pressing ok button then i change to 415 or you of course you can press left right arrow key to change the value okay i will change to 415 volt then press ok button then press the down button to go to next menu 
okay motor frequency this is our motor frequency okay our country using 50 hertz so i will change to 50 hertz you press the ok button then use the up down arrow key left right arrow key to move to next digit up down arrow key is to change the value okay let's say i press the left arrow key and press down button to change to 50 hertz and i press the ok button after done I press the down arrow key to move to next menu. Okay, this is motor current. Let's say the voltage range is just now I select is this. So the full loop ampere will be 11 ampere. Let's say for your country, the incoming three phase AC voltage is between 660 to 690. Then your full loop ampere is 6.4 that you had to key inside. For my case, my incoming voltage is 415 volt. So I will key 11 ampere as my motor current or full load ampere, FLA. So I press the OK button to edit it. So I will change it to 11 joule. Press the left button, then I reduce my value to 0. So 11, 11. Then I press OK to accept the value. And I press next. Motor nominal speed. This is the speed RPM revolution per minute 2920. I press OK button to edit 2920. So I press the left arrow key and then I change to 2. Press the left arrow key and change to 9. Then press left arrow key to change to 2. So 2920. 2920 RPM. Press OK. I think that's all. Then I press the back button to go to the home page menu. We have done the initialization and keying the motor data. So the third one is we want to go to change the reference. Okay. Now you see the reference, you press OK. Okay. I will select the reference limit. Let's say minimum reference. So depends on your process requirement. You can change the minimum and maximum reference limit limit. For me, I will set to zero hertz. Then press down arrow key and can change the maximum reference. Let's say I want 50 hertz, I will key 50 hertz. You can press OK button and change to whatever maximum reference that you want. Once done, you press the back button. Okay. Then the next thing is I want to go to reference references then you press ok to select references then you press the down arrow key okay until you see reference one source let's say i have a potential meter i wish to use my potential meter to control the vfd speed okay i will connect my potential meter to 50 terminal 50 terminal 53 and terminal 55 okay one side of the potential meter is connected to terminal 50 to provide dc voltage or 10 volt okay then the reference side of the potential meter i will use it to, i will connect to terminal 53 you can connect to either 53 or terminal 54 for reference input to the vfd either one because both this terminal 53 and 54 is for analog input voltage okay then the other terminal from the potentiometer will be connected to the common which is terminal 55 in today's case for example i will use terminal 53 as my reference analog input voltage so i will press ok then i will select analog input 53 okay then i press the back button to go back to the menu then after that i select ram one okay ram one i will select the ramp out time so i need to change it i press the ok button maybe i will change it to five seconds again it depends on your process requirement then i press the ok button to accept these changes then i press the down arrow key to move to the next menu the next menu is a ram down time 
So I press the OK button to change it to 5 seconds. Okay. <coughs> then once done, I press OK to select the changes. Then I press the back button. So I press the back button until I see the main menu page. So I press the down button and until I see the digital input output. Then I press the OK button. Okay. Then I press down button to select digital input. Then I press OK. I have the toggle switch, which I will use it to start my motor. Okay. So I will connect my toggle switch to terminal 18 and terminal 20. Right. So I will use the up down button until I see terminal 18 digital input. I will press OK to make changes. So I will use this one as a start toggle switch. So I will continue to press the up or down arrow key until I see start. OK, and so I select the start, then I press OK to accept it. OK, then I press the back button press the status button to go to the status button. Alright, so that's it. Thanks.